Hello, welcome back to everybody. Uh, this is a new video, a seventh video from the series, uh, which is dedicated to my project, uh, a tube stereo receiver, which I'm currently uh, building and, and designing. Uh, as you remember in the last video, I have reported about the successful completion uh, of the tube uh, power amplifier section. Now, uh, everything is beginning to take shape, I would say. You will remember I have uh, previously uh, completed the FM tuner module and also I uh, began working on the digital uh, Arduino section as well. In this video, uh, I will show you how those two modules will fit into the chassis and I will also show you about the user interface through uh, Arduino. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. This is the usual view of the amplifier uh, in upside down position, uh, which is the position which uh, gives me the possibility to work uh, on it, of course. And uh, you, you can see here, this is a, a, the most recent uh, addition. Uh, this is the uh, preamplifier and uh, tone uh, volume control. Uh, the preamplifier, as you might remember, is based on uh, two ECC83 tubes, uh, which you cannot see now because they are uh, they are hidden by, by the, the chassis, they are in the, in the lower position. Uh, they will be visible, of course, when, uh, when uh, the, the amplifier will be in the final uh, position. Um, again, now uh, everything is uh, uh, upside down. So, uh, the, uh, this is the uh, volume control uh, and this, uh, these are the two uh, tone controls. As uh, this is upside down, uh, this is uh, the treble or tone control, then it will be on the right in the final position, of course, and this is the bass tone control. And this is the volume control. As you can see, uh, this is uh, already mounted in the final uh, uh, sub-chassis. Uh, this is exactly in the final position. At the end, uh, there will be the, the three uh, uh, knobs uh, on the, on the uh, front panel. Uh, just one note uh, on the volume control. As you can see, there is a motor here. So uh, the volume uh, will be uh, controlled by either acting on the knob, uh, manually acting on the knob, or acting on the uh, remote control. The remote control will send uh, signals to Arduino, Arduino will be mounted here, and then Arduino will drive the uh, motor of the volume control in order to, uh, again, uh, act uh, on the uh, volume control. Another, another aspect uh, related to the uh, preamplifier uh, also, on the preamplifier tubes, uh, I utilized the AC uh, alternate current uh, uh, heater uh, power supply. Um, I find that even with the AC, the amplifier is, uh, is uh, really uh, dead quiet. Uh, even if I turn the volume potentiometer to the maximum, uh, I don't hear really any, any hum coming from, uh, from the speaker. The, the, the amplifier is really very, very silent. Uh, uh, with the knob, uh, with the volume knob in the maximum position, I can just hear some very slight hiss coming from uh, from the tubes. But uh, again, no no hum uh, uh, at all. And again, I think uh, this is due to the many solutions which were uh, implemented. First of all, the star grounding. This is a global view of the amplifier from the uh, correct uh, final uh, position. Uh, we commented uh, uh, many times, uh, uh, these are the four uh, power tubes uh, for the two channels, uh, two and two. These are the two ECC81 for the two phase splitter. 
These are the two gain stages based on the EF86 tube. These two tubes are the most recent addition. They are part of the preamplifier and the tone controls. These are the two ECC83 uh, tubes. The amplifier is switched on in this uh, in this moment and uh, yeah, just playing some test music. This is another view. Uh, of course, uh, the front panel uh, is not uh, done yet. Uh, I promise uh, everything will be uh, nicer and, uh, of course, more neat. Um, but just to show you how the tone control and volume control section will fit uh, into the global uh, layout. Uh, we have commented already, but now uh, the amplifier is in the final uh, uh, right <laughs> upright position, I would say. So this is the volume control, this is the bass control, bass tone control, and this is the treble uh, tone control. And now uh, the amplifier is switched on, uh, playing some uh, test music. I would just like to let you hear how the uh, amplifier is, uh, is uh, silent. Uh, I will crank a little bit the uh, volume control and then I will stop music in order to let you hear the uh, let you appreciate uh, the uh, signal to noise ratio of this amplifier <music> and then I stop music as you can appreciate uh, really no noise nor hum coming from uh, from the speakers, you you might just hear some uh, some little bit of hiss coming from the uh, fan of my of my PC, but other than that, no noise uh, nor hiss from the speakers. Parliamo di salute per 20 secondi, per no? E poi spesso poi il Beijing questo fa, cioè prende persone assolutamente. As you can see, the FM tuner is back. Uh, you might remember this module, it's the same we commented in the first videos, this is the a complete FM tuner. Uh, and uh, uh, here we have also Arduino. Uh, again, uh, we commented the, uh, it in the, in the, in the first video. Uh, Arduino, which is currently showing the received frequency here in this display, and also the, uh, the, the, the particular uh, selected input, which is the uh, tuner. So, as you can see, and as uh, the uh, tube power amplifier and the tube preamplifier section, including the tone controls, are all uh, uh, completed, I could uh, progress on the project and install the previously built uh, FM tuner again here and uh, Arduino module. Uh, of course uh, much work ahead, um, here uh, I will uh, install uh, the digital to analog converter module uh, this is still uh, uh, under uh, development, under uh, design. Um, also, uh, here uh, I, will, uh, uh, I will install uh, the input uh, selection unit, which of course will be driven by uh, Arduino. But again, uh, I think uh, uh, you can have a, a good idea of how the final layout will be. Of course, uh, you can see many wires. Uh, uh, many are still not uh, uh, utilized, 
but uh, yeah, this is the general idea of how the amplifier uh, will will look like uh, or will not look like because this will be everything <laughs> will be hidden of course uh, because uh, this is uh, currently in uh, upside down position and uh, so everything you see here will be will be uh, uh, closed uh, just one uh, one mention on these wires uh, these four wires uh, are coming from uh, uh, from the uh, cathode of the four power uh, tubes I plan to uh, configure Arduino in order to measure the uh, current uh, going through uh, each and every power tube. In this way, uh, Arduino can constantly monitor the situation uh, of each one of the four power tubes and, uh, of course, take decision in case uh, the, uh, any of those four currents uh, are not within uh, uh, specifications. So, as you can appreciate, uh, uh, we are beginning to look uh, at the completion of the project. Uh, in the next video, I will show you, of course, uh, uh, other improvements, other uh, progress. In the meantime, thank you very much for your uh, attention and uh, again, see you soon in the next video. Bye.